Hi everyone, this is a tutorial from dwiconcepts.com. In our early video for dimensional modeling ETL uh, implementation, we have learned how to implement a slowly changing dimension of type 1 with a full extraction of the source. Now, in this tutorial today, we will check the same implementation using the DS uh, inbuilt transforms like table comparison. So, if you can recall earlier, what we have developed was uh, using a lookup function call and after that we used a case transform to uh, route the rows for insert and update followed by a map operation to uh, mark the operation codes of the records normal records to update for the update part and the insert part we have used the key generation transform to generate the surrogate keys so in this particular example we will use the same product table as our dimension of slowly changing type 1 and we will use the data services inbuilt transforms table comparison to do the part of uh, comparison as well as the opcode generation for each and every rows based on insert or update and let's go straight to the job development this is how the job looks like it's similar than the one we have discussed earlier in our earlier video so over here the initialization script contains the global variable dollar sysdet which is calling the sysdet function so one time function is called and it's stored in the global variable that can be used to populate the load date of the dimension records next we have the data flow so we have the source table that is the product table or you may consider it as the source flat file coming in on a daily basis next we have used a query transform now over here let's look that the target dimension table have a product key which is the surrogate key of the target table and over here we have po uh, populated it with mapped it with null next we have the source product id we have changed the name as per the target dimension table because we are doing a comparison based on the name so over here the product id is mapped to the source product id rest everything remains the same and we have used a new output column load date and mapped it with the global variable dollar c state so in this particular scenario since this is a full extraction of the source we are using no wire clause during extraction next we are using the inbuilt transform provided in data services that's called the table comparison so let's go and check the properties in this table comparison we have selected the target table name that is our product dimension table next we have indicated that the product key is our generated key column so now based on the source product id based on the source product id we are comparing whether our record is existing in the target dimension table or not if it does not exist we need to insert that record and the table comparison transform will uh, mark that record with a operation code as insert if it finds that this particular source natural key exists in our target dimension table then it will compare the incoming name and price with the existing dimensional table attributes name and price and if there is a mismatch then it will um, mark that record for update and accordingly make the operation code as update for the target table instance in this case we have used the cache comparison table as one of the comparison method and regarding the other comparison method we will learn later when uh, and now other properties like the detect deleted rows and input contains duplicate records we will learn in a separate chapters where during our dynamic lookup implementation we will see later so let's concentrate on this uh, scd type 1 implementation so over here the target table key column input primary key columns that is our source natural key co comparison and the compare columns next what we have used is a key generation transform so this table comparison transform will take care of everything that is the insert and update the opcode generation the comparison everything next followed by a key generation transform because we need to generate the surrogate keys so in this case we have used the product dimension and the product key is our sur surrogate key of the target dimension table and the increment value is one and followed by our target dimension table and let's go and check the options we have increased the uh, commit frequency to 10,000 and the same earlier what we did we used an overflow file 
set it to yes next the file format is write the sql so that we can later if there is a rejection we can check the reject file and can we can see what are the sql statements fired and what that has been rejected during uh, database uh, writing the while writing the records in the target table next we have the catch transform what we have discussed earlier also in our idea tutorial that whenever there is an exception that will be cached in the uh, try catch block so now in the catch block as a part of the remedy what we have done is to print the error message and the error timestamp to the job log also since we want the job status to be displayed as terminated instead of completed because the job is already handled by the catch block so in order to make the status of the job terminated we have used the raise exception function and if there is no exception everything goes fine but if there is a database rejection what we have dis uh, showed over here that there is a, a overflow file generated if there is any rejection happening while writing the records to the target that section we are handling at the final line we are using the get file attribute we know that uh, this is a reject file name and if the size this is one of the attributes we can use with the get file attribute if the size of this reject file is greater than zero then it means there are some rejections happen during record writing to the target table and then again we raise an exception with the message as a job fail and check the reject file this is a very simplistic etl framework as we have already discussed many a time that we will des design the one of the best etl frameworks for data warehousing based on dimensional table loading and fact table loading at a later section so this was mainly based upon the table comparison transform so this is for now check our other videos and any problems post a question in the discussion forum in dwbiconcepts.com hope you like this video thanks see you in the next video